don't worry about the next because it's your boy chris with the next all right so i wanted to talk about the whole Corey haynes being raped by charlie sheen allegations all right so as everybody know in hollywood hollywood the dark side of hollywood you know there's a lot of people coming out on Harvey Weinstein, there was a documentary called Open Secret, exposing Marty Weiss, about the goat of, you know, all these sick people, you know, <clears throat> especially um, pedophilia, because Corey Feldman said that um, casting couch applies to children, it, it applies to everyone, children too, but not the same as adults, because kids have to be conditioned, you know, you just can't, you know, tell a child, You know, you want to have sex with them because they don't know nothing about that. And so you have to condition them, make them think this is a game to play. And this is what they did to Corey Haynes and Corey Feldman. Of course, Corey Feldman, he didn't know he was being raped, but he said he um, he stopped. And then Corey Feldman, Corey Haynes, his kept continuing because he liked what was being done to him. And so they kept on... um, going um, after him and he was being passed around like a collection plate you know very sick you know Corey Feldman said he's going to raise a million dollars come out with a documentary because as you all know I mean, if you just release the names then you know, it could be forgotten but if it's a documentary you know with the internet that can circle around forever and he could use the money to um, you know hire some lawyers so I hope that, you know, happens for him. As for Corey Haynes, you know, his decease, he's had, um, it was a drug overdose, but his rape had played into it because, you know, um, he tried, what had happened is one of his best friends said, he just got fed up and came out and said it was that, the actor that tapped him on the shoulder and uh, went between two trailers and sodomized him was Corey Feldman, I mean, Corey, um, it's Charlie Sheen, and they say that's why Denise Richards do not want him to be around the children alone, because there's a lot of, of porn that was on the computer of both boys and girls, where they look like gel bait, they were very young, the girls had their hair in pigtails, or the boys, you know, were barely developing muscles, very smooth looking, you know, this is some, some sick shit, you know. I can't even look at, you know, Two and a Half Men or that other show. He was with, um, whatever show. It's not Arrested Development. Uh, anger Management, there you go. I can't even look at it the same. But I'm thinking, you know, what has this man done, you know, to people, to children? You know, so... And a lot of people kept trying to hint that it was Charlie Sheen, but, you know, you're not really thinking, you know, that he would do something like that. But, again, in Hollywood, you have a lot of these um, people who are convicted sex offenders and still working around children. You know, I watched The Open Secret, and that documentary actually made me feel physically ill. You know, you can go watch it for yourself. It's on YouTube, on here, you know. It was just disturbing how this type of stuff is going on. Now, I feel like if you're a grown person, if you're 18 years or over, and, you know, you desperate to be in Hollywood, and you make that choice of having, you know, your, your snatch taken or your butthole taken, if you're a dude, you know, a female, you know, that's your choice. But leave children out of this. Leave kids out of this. You know, it really fucks with people's mind. They can't really form... The, you know, relationships or anything, because it's traumatizing. It follows them. You know, I hope Corey Haynes and Corey Feldman get the justice they deserve. You know, start putting these sick people out here. You know, Terry Crews saying he filed a police report. You know, um, you know, it's just some sick stuff. They tried to scapegoat Michael Jackson. He, he both him and Macaulay Culkin said that Michael was not like that. You know, the real people that's doing it is really behind the scenes. Or, you know, they really respect it, so, 
you know, and they're not minorities, so, you know, that gives them a one-upper, you know, nothing's going to really happen to them. But had they been minorities, you know, they would got shamed. So, what is your thoughts or take on it? Leave it in the comment section below. Any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below. I mean, you know, do you think that really Hollywood is going to change now? You know, this has been going on forever, but it's kind of good that it's now starting to spill out, even with adults, you know. Because when, some of these people probably was, you know, these directors or these um, actors, maybe they was an unpopular kid in school. Now they feel like, okay, well, or maybe they was the person that, you know, kept trying to help people out and they got fucked over. So now they feel like, okay, I got this power. You want this? You're going to have to give me some ass. Or maybe they just abusing their power. What do you think? You know, those are my thoughts. What do you think? What do what, you know? But when it comes to children, that's just sick. Point blank. All right. Peace.